Hello guys, welcome to another class from No Classroom. You are watching No Classroom. To support me, subscribe the channel and watch the video till the end. In today's topic, we are going to learn about arsenic poisoning. So why delay? Let's start. If I am saying that arsenic poisoning, then it means that chemical substance what is harming our human body is arsenic, the trivalent especially. Now, before beginning the class, I had so many doubts regarding the arsenic poisoning. How do we get this poison? What is the source? How does our body react to the poison? Does it metabolize or what does it do? What are the harmful effects when our body is exposed to this kind of poisoning? How do we diagnose it? And finally, the biggest one. How do we treat this? For a long time, until few decades ago, arsenic was used as a homicide. It was a choice of poison in both acute and chronic administration as arsenic was odorless and tasteless. Over the years, acute poisoning cases were coming down. However, the chronic cases are at rise due to the industrial and occupational exposure, like smelting of the ores, microelectron industry. Arsenic is one of the elements in wood preservative. It's also used in pesticides, herbicides, fungicides. And arsenic is released when burning of coal is done. After knowing how we get this kind of poison or the source of it, we need to understand what happens to the arsenic when it enters in our body. Organic arsenic like arsenobetaine, arsenocholine are non-toxic. So, toxic one is the inorganic. Arsenic readily absorbed into the GIT tract as well as the lungs when taken orally or inhalation. Once entered, it gets sequestered in liver, spleen, kidney and GIT tract. The residue persists in the skin, hair and nails. Detoxification is by biomethylation. This process gets saturated and further arsenic doesn't get metabolized. Let us take an example. Here we have taken arsenous acid which is a trivalent arsenic. It gets a methyl group during the second phase of biotransformation and forms monomethyl arsenic acid. Later, the methylation process repeats and forms dimethyl arsenous acid and later forms the end product trimethyl arsine. Here, the metabolized dimethyl arsenous is one of the major metabolites found in urine. Once the biomethylation process gets saturated, then the excess arsenic is going to show its toxic effects. Let us together try to understand the toxic effects of it. So we categorize into acute toxicity and chronic toxicity. Like acute toxicity, you take a bulk amount of arsenic compound. So when you are taking arsenic in acute cases, the lethal dose will be 200 mg to 300 mg in adults and 2 mg per kg body weight in children. Acute is sudden exposure of arsenic at once and chronic over a period of time that is 2 to 8 weeks. Firstly, in the GIT tract, in acute cases causes necrosis of intestinal mucosa, hemorrhagic gastroenteritis and loss of body fluid. In chronic case, it causes loss of weight, malaise, loss of appetite, colicky pain, constipation or diarrhea with warm things. So, these are the effects on the GIT system. On the heart, in acute cases, it causes hypotension and delayed cardiomyopathy. In chronic cases, it causes peripheral vascular insufficiency and vasospasm. In kidneys, in acute cases, causes tubular necrosis and hemolysis and in chronic cases, leads to cancer. The skin turns cold kami skin or pale anxious face in acute poisoning whereas 
persistent erythromatous flush or hyperkeratotic skin with desquamation is observed and on nails me lines are formed finally arsenic affect the nervous system causes peripheral neuropathy constant exposure to arsenic leads to cancer to various organs like liver lung skin bladder and kidneys so after knowing the effect how do we diagnose it what are the various available options for diagnosis radio opaque signs on the abdominal x ray is the first indication when taken an ecg the qrs broadening is seen along with qt prolongation st depression and t wave flattening further 24 hours urine sample is evaluated and if found like greater than 67 micromole per deciliter of 50 microgram per deciliter it means that you are affected with arsenic poisoning and here we have a note like we should not have seafood before the test for at least 24 hours and lastly serum arsenic concentration greater than 0.9 micromole per liter or 7 microgram per deciliter indicates arsenic poisoning so how do we treat this when a large dose of arsenic is taken and the poison is quickly absorbed the average fatal period may be something like 2 to 4 hours if it is taken by a oral route then the average fatal period may be ranging between 12 to 48 hours the first treatment if taken by a oral route is by inducing warm thing so that removal of unabsorbed poison can be done later performed with gastric lavage with activated charcoal and catheter so that absorption of further arsenic can be stopped patient should be given with supportive care and for chronic poisoning cases as well as the acute poisoning cases dimercaprol at a dose of 3 to 5 mg per kg body weight is given intramuscularly for every 4 hours for the first two days followed by every 6 hourly injection on the third day and every 12 hourly im injection of dimercaprol for the following 10 days succimer is a choice of drug if dimercaprol is not available i hope after seeing this complete video your doubts regarding the question marks are cleared like how do we get this kind of poisoning what is the source we have studied the various sources like smelting pesticides etc and trivalent arsenic is highly toxic and the lethal dose is 200 to 300 mg in adults and 2 mg per kg body weight in children it is metabolized in our body by biomethylation process and this process gets saturated it has various effects on git tract cardiovascular system skin etc and regarding diagnosis it is diagnosed by x ray ecg serum and urine samples the treatment is done by dimercaprol at a dose of 3 to 5 mg per kg body weight so this is all about arsenic poisoning thanks for patient listening hope this video is informative hope to see you all in another session don't forget to hit like sharing with your friends and finally subscribing to my channel no classroom till then signing off bye bye